Well, good morning, everyone. We have with us this morning the ambassador, and this will be the video for the first uh, of the year in 2015, which is the year of the, well, he just told me, and I forgot already. The, <laughs> what was the one? Year, was yeah, the year of the goat or the year of the sheep, depending on, you know. Uh, the way you want to look at it. Okay, well, you also used another word, ram, I guess. Yes, you can also use the word <laughs> ram. Okay. And, you know, it, it, it depends. You know, some people probably will feel offended that this would be the year of the sheep. Uh, well, it's time uh, for the sheep the global, to start the global, waking up. <laughs> yeah, the globally ignorant masses and their, you know, uh, mental stage. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, the ram and the goat has, uh, you know, are a little bit more independent uh, creatures than lambs i think so <laughs> and sheep so uh, you know uh, i feel it's uh, more suitable to say the year of the goat or the ram than to say the year <laughs> of the sheep i would okay. like that the year of the sheep should end now you know we had not well we've time. had enough sheep following blindly to the slaughter and uh, being led by the masters uh, of the world that want to control everything Anyway, we as as I as I mentioned with you uh, before we started the video, there have been some questions in regard to the document that you showed from the World Court, 2010, that that our friend Benjamin Fulford from Japan uh, confirmed through the MI5 was an authentic document, which of course we already knew. But there was some confusion on that document as to what those numbers actually meant, and so I'd like you to explain. A little in a little bit more detail, if you will, what those what those numbers are about, what what they represent. Uh, I know we have taught you and I have talked about it, but let let me let you explain again, so that there's more clarity for people uh, in understanding what the World Court uh, World Bank document meant. Yeah, uh, like exactly. This is a document a document from the World Bank Committee of 300. And uh, this is basically uh, a statement signed off by the Queen and the other signatories uh, confirming the bank balances and the interest. So basically this is, uh, you know, how the disbursements of the interest is uh, placed. The interest on what, Ambassador? The, the interest of one of account. This is just one of account, uh, you know, that uh, is represented there. Uh, and uh, and so basically, you know, it, it you know the system has many many accounts, not only one. This is the white spiritual boy account, which I was using as an example. You have many others: the white spiritual wonder boy. You have a morning star. You have a King David, Prophet Muhammad. Many different type of accounts similar to this. Uh, now these uh, accounts are trusts, right? No, basically, it's not, no, no, it's not trust. This is an account that basically is set up to protect the world assets. Okay, so basically, this is uh, the family's funds put in different bank accounts on the different codes. Like the white spiritual boy is basically a code, and this is off ledger accounts. That means basically that it's not a common uh, knowledge. This account, and this is basically what backs the whole world financial system. And if you see what uh, you know, this interest is generating, you know, we would not on the planet. All right, you blacked out a little bit. We, uh, you, you blacked out for a few seconds there. On the planet, you came back with on the planet, but what you said. Uh, as I said, I said if, if we would disperse this, use this funds, you have the interest, we would not have any financial problems. So. Uh, you know, uh, on the planet at all. Just the interest. Just the interest. So this is just interest of what is generated on this account. Afterwards, they are later on dispersed into other sub accounts, uh, which is interest of interest and so on and so on, and used for different things. And used to the world institution released to, you know, United Nations, as you see, and all these other institutions that supposedly disperse this money for food stamps in America and other international projects, you understand? So when people say that the family should release the funds and all this ignorant talk, uh, they are releasing funds, has been releasing funds, you know, uh, and have never stopped releasing funds. So, uh, you know, the situation is the way that the funds are being released and dispersed, it maybe needs to be 
corrected in some case and the funds doesn't reach the people that are supposed to have it. Okay. Well, that's a significant problem. You know, it's, it's interesting. Someone sent me a doc documentation, very extensive documentation that I got last night uh, about the 13th Amendment in the United States, which shows very clearly that most of the history of the United States has been taken over by the bank lawyers, bank attorneys, which had no legitimate authority to even set up a country. And so the United States of America had, has had their funding uh, ripped off by criminals uh, holding the titles of bar attorneys. And, and uh, any, anyway, it was very fascinating. I, I'd love to see, as you know, as we've talked about in other conversations, I'd love to see the United States recognized as the republic that it was founded to be. And that alone would resolve a lot of the issues that the humanity faces right now and, and war and, and the misuse of funds that goes on all the time. I believe that the way to stop war is to break down these borders and nations and states and corporations. Now, the, the thing is this way is that the problem is that people is focusing too much okay, on the national pride and the hostility in the planet and aggression. Uh, I think that what is important is to, for the nations that is today uh, calling themselves nations or corporations or whatever it is, is that, uh, that it should be you know, organized in a better manner for the people. Okay? And the focus should be for the humanity at whole. Because like I said in my first uh, interview with you, I was using the reference as uh, you know, the planet as aquarium with the fishes inside. And by my opinion, there's a lot of goldfishes inside of that aquarium. At least they have memory like goldfishes, many of them. <laughs> and and <clears throat> they believe in that little thing that this is the whole world. You know, the whole world is circulating around that aquarium. If we put some poison into that aquarium, we're going to kill all the fishes. So we have to learn to think in a global sense. The separation that people are pushing all the time and hostility is basically what is creating all this problem. You know, it's like you were talking about this Kevin Annette or, uh, or these different type of things uh, with me yesterday and people were aggressing on him and so on and so on and was stating a lot of different things about his character. I don't think that anyone on the planet can raise their hand and say that they are flawless or sinless, okay? Now, uh, you know, if whatever he's doing is right or not right, we know there's a lot of spineless people that sits and complain uh, and finger point against people and say that, oh, you know, this or this or this or this. Why don't they do something themselves? This is what I stated since the beginning. Let this 2050 be a year when people personally take responsibility to change the world and to change their nations and change their countries. And, uh, and basically uh, stop assisting and supporting the terrorist nations on the planet that's traumatizing the world. Uh, I hope that this year will be a positive thing. Now, I hope also that all of the people, you know, that is in, uh, you know, who even claims that they are part of the freedom movements to liberate humanity and things like this, doesn't matter who you are, okay? Uh, I want you all to unite and work for the better cause, you know? It doesn't matter, you know, for, for me, this has never been a battle of being the unique one, okay? Right. Uh, you know, I was, you know, saying to people, wishing them good luck, and people became aggressive because I was wishing them good luck. I wish them this year good luck. I wish them that they would uh, turn around and support each other, work together to make a better planet. I want all the families, doesn't matter where on the planet they are, all citizens on the planet to work together this year to make this the year that's going to change the path of humanity for the whole uh, history. Let this be a year that we do uh, work together instead of working against each other. Let this be a year of peace instead of a year of aggression. Okay? And, uh, you know, that we can transform into this new year which basically is the jubilee when people may basically make themselves realize that they are not slaves and that they take responsibility for their own lives. And so, you know, let's just be a year when people are doing this and to taking the steps. We, as we know, you know, this is the best in, uh, new year, which is today. We have still, uh, you know, uh, almost a month 
a little bit more than that uh, until we have a Chinese New Year. But let us uh, use this year uh, that we have to to make some positive changes instead of just uh, always complain and whine and aggress on each other. You know. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't really see as long as the structure of the legal system uh, and the structure of the the corporate structure of our countries, of our nations, that especially has to be somehow stopped because it's an unlawful, unaccountable uh, system that does not require accountability of the people that run it. And that's where you get all the criminality and the, and, uh, the crimes against humanity, all of the extortion and everything else comes from the very system itself. Uh, do you have any ideas on, on uh, practical ideas on how people can actually uh, stop the, the criminality of the system so that the prosperity of the planet can flow to the people and we can turn everything around? Yes, it's very simple. You know, every single person on this planet, you know, have a personal responsibility. And, you know, you and me are doing our things and other people are doing their things. And there are an important uh, ingredients in to change this planet and this earth. And, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like what people doesn't realize. It's like, for example, I was standing in, in a, uh, to go to a restaurant in this country where I just was. And, uh, you know, it was lines everywhere. And, you know, but, you know, the things were, it, it was not, the table was not booked. So basically people were standing in lines. And I just asked a very simple question, you know, that how long time do I have to wait, stand and wait here? Now, no one, because all of these people are sheep, doesn't even dare to ask this question. Uh, now, the same thing is this. I was at this big restaurant gathering uh, in this huge Chinese restaurant, which looked like almost like an institution. And it was a very famous one, but they didn't want to serve the the drinks until everyone was at, at the table and i was of course voicing my opinion and i was the only one uh, that was receiving drinks and uh, you know uh, and uh, uh, fluids to my food before everyone else and people were saying oh, how how because i ask the question i don't agree with their system i don't agree that that everyone has to come I decide myself when I want to drink, when I, when, when I want to eat. So this is what is the problem here, is that I see, this is just an example that I'm using here for people to realize is that we accept all these atrocities and we like to blame it on others. Oh, everyone is doing that. So, so if everyone's doing that, it has to start at the grassroots level. It has to start with yourself. I don't accept this anymore. I will not fly the airplanes that put the chemtrails, okay? And I will not, for example, uh, put the button to, to blow up this person with this drone. I will not uh, sanction and support, uh, you know, crimes against humanity. I will not steal the house of Ron Van Dyke just because uh, I'm instructed to do, to do so. Because I am a party of this system, okay? So everyone in that line, if everyone refused to empower the criminals, then do you really think that these criminals, these old men and women, wicked people, are uh, going to go out and implement and enforce their <laughs> own things? I doubt it. Well, I, so, I actually wish these people that are financing the wars and all the, the crimes would be the ones that would actually be put in the front lines and have to fight each other over it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the time when you know the royals was real leaders now this time unfortunately majority of these people is just uh, you know that document inbreed so bears basically just uh, you know sits and uh, you know take focus on now the thing is this way is that what the people need to do is to awaken to the reality that if these people are so desperately want to fight like Take this retard McCain, for example. He wants to he wants to uh, fight the ISIS, which he was a part of creating. Why don't you put these guys in the ring? Okay, understand? <laughs> I'm also ready to fight you, McCain, every second, and any second you like to fight. 
I can be representing any type of fundamentalist that you like to have in your little fantasy world, and we can fight it in the ring if you like to. Okay. Can now, you imagine can... putting Obama in the ring, with Putin? <laughs> yes, that would be that would be a wonderful idea. But I don't think that he would ever dare to step up in the ring. Okay. Well, I think this... Putin would. <laughs> Yes, he would, as, as well as I would also. Okay? <laughs> I don't think that I would uh, not, uh, you know, uh, d dare to, I would step up in the ring with any of the world leaders on the planet today. Now, the thing is this way, that the thing is this way, I'm not here to aggress and fight with people. But what I want the people to realize that they have to stop empowering these people. Because without your consent, Without your silent consent, these people are nothing. They are spineless creatures that basically can do a shit. They can't do a shit. Okay? And so the, the thing is this way, is that it's very important for the people. And that needs the time when we're going to talk about Jubilee, when people realize that they are actually themselves the source of good and evil, as I stated from the beginning. And they can take the charge in their lives and set themselves. The problem is people follow orders and, and they, we need to stop having a world full of order followers and start having people that take responsibility for their own lives. And, to, and when people are given orders that are bad orders, they say, hey, wait a minute. I'm not going to hurt my brother or my sister. I'm not going to aggress against them. But people don't do that. They just think, well, the boss gave me the order. I've got to do it. And that thinking, that sheep mentality has to stop. I agree with you. Yeah. And, and, and that is the thing. This is, uh, you know, this is the way that we are empowering these criminals. And so actually, we could state the fact that actually we are uh, unitedly responsible for all these crimes against humanity because we, we have a silent consent. Okay? And when we start waking up to that, instead of whining and complaining at people that try to actually do something to change the world. Uh, you know, uh, I think that we're gonna have some positive steps in the right direction, okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't find it too late for anyone, you know, uh, to basically reconsolidate and to work together and find unity. I do not have grouches against anyone, and like I stated before, I really hope and wish even the cabal that they would remit, surrender, and basically it, surrender, and also could they ask for forgiveness and basically to move on. All right, because, let me let me go back to the remit part because people get hung up on that word. I, I want you to clarify and make it as simple as possible to understand what you mean when you say, and it's you're not saying that to the regular people. You're saying that to world leaders and, and people that have some uh, so-called authority, you're telling them to remit. Ex exactly what does that mean? The, the, the word remit is basically that you give back what doesn't belong to yourself. They know very well that they've been held as custodians, they've been held as keepers, they've been held as responsibility for the world's assets. Okay? Trustees. Uh, Yes, they've been trustees and they've been, it's time for them, okay, to let go. It's time for them to go back to the source and basically remit back to the source and basically change the ways of living. And, and surrendering, basically what I'm, when I'm saying surrender, that's basically is to give up, okay? Remit it's stopped, to surrender. Stopped criminal attitude, the criminal yeah. mindset. Yeah, yeah. And basically, you know, and you know, you, you, you can say that, for example, when you surrender yourself, you can surrender yourself to the creator, you can surrender yourself to in war, you can surrender yourself in any way, or you can just surrender to the good new order. And this is what, you know, what we are saying when we're talking about remitting and surrendering is, is basically to, you know, the contract has ended and the, the mandate is over. So it is time to remit and surrender. So everyone understands that. And you should go up to your upline and follow your upline and basically go back to the source and do what's right for humanity and for yourself and you will be greatly rewarded. 
And this is not about egos. This is not about uh, looking down upon people when I say this. This is just the way it is. This is the natural order. And so it's the time to do what's right for humanity and work together. Now, uh, people, you know, many times, you know, I've been also attacked by different people. I don't really care. But also maybe people felt that, you know, I aggressed or attacked on them. Uh, you know, if you feel like that, you need to, you know, uh, look yourself in the mirror and basically reflect on yourself. But I'm ready to work together with anyone that is ready to do what's right for humanity. And I don't care. And I don't like, you know, this aggression against people that is trying to do something good. Now, uh, like you were talking, we were talking about, uh, you brought up different people that I actually doesn't really know. Uh, personally, I don't really spend too much time investigating what they're doing, but this is again a part of a cabal trick. You know, you state that, oh, this person, he is a bad person because he is, you know, he's dating many people on, on, on internet and things like this. Oh, no, you're yeah. talking about yeah. Kevin and that. Yeah, like, like, for example, you know, how, you know, who are you to judge this person? That's not your fucking business. You know, it's not your business if he's dating a lot of people on internet or if he does it in, in reality. That's something between him and these people that he do that with. You know, we're going to have a problem with this. Look at your leaders and look at yourself to start with. You, you know, or you're sinless. It's like when Jesus said that the one without sin threw the first stone. I don't believe anyone can throw the first stone here. Mm -hmm. Just that we all have done things in our life that we're not proud of. We have all committed sins. We have all, you know, all have hurted people. Uh, you know, unintentionally and sometimes even attentionally. And, you know, how can we change ourselves? Yeah, it's basically to admit that we ourselves are not uh, sinless. We are not ones without any problems. And this is the way that they traumatize the world because they are having Snowden release information that everyone already know that they're collecting all this data on us and our activities. And so we are so terrified about people finding out the dirt of our own wickedness and then basically so we are being traumatized to follow orders because we don't dare to voice our opinion i'm saying to you and everyone else if you have a person like for example you had clinton you know supposedly had sexual relationship with that woman or he's no he, he did didn't have not her. have sex with her just because that stain on her dress was there and she didn't wash it for a long time doesn't mean they had sex. Yeah. No, but I mean, I mean, <laughs> and I'm making you know, a joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oral sex is not a sexual relation, and he has clarified that to the world. So you know, if you have oral sex, it's not a sexual relation. Now the thing is this way: either way, whatever it is or whatever it is, that's something between him and that woman and his wife. And I think that people have probably done much more wicked things than that. <laughs> okay. Oh, and when, yeah. And when Bush and others is torturing people and uh, killing and slaughtering millions of people, and uh, you know, taking down and, built uh, buildings in New York City and and the Pentagon and causing black ops and all these other crimes against humanity that that come from the actual leaders. <laughs> yeah, that that's nothing bad with that. Okay. And this is basically Who says? <laughs> that we we're not even supposed to voice opinion, but whatever Clinton did there in his not so called sexual relations is a major sin. Now, well, yeah, he was actually what, what they call what do they call it? He was uh, he he was certainly slapped on the wrist hard publicly over over a blowjob <laughs> when people in, in the next administration brought down buildings and killed thousands of people, not just in America, but they, then they started the wars and uh, upgraded the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq and killed. Did you see where Madeleine Albright said that it was no big deal to kill 500,000 innocent children in Iraq? Did you see that comment? No, no. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, she is an evil, uh, twisted woman. And, you know, it's strange that so uh, no one has, you know, arrested her, this criminal, 
already. But the thing is this way, we don't worry about that because, you know, we have a, even attorneys in hell. And basically, she's going to face her, uh, you know, her, her sins and atrocities over and over and over and over and over again in the spiritual cleansing hospital that she's coming to. So I think that it's, that it's uh, you know, it's important, you know, for the world and for the people in power. Okay, yes, we have now talked about people that people basically have committed wrongs in different ways. Now we want to put our effort into uh, the situation. It's like, for example, I saw some, there was a king here in Europe that uh, was blamed for going to strip clubs and whatever. And, you know, again, he, he was lying and he was caught lying. Now, the thing is this way, what he just should say to the people is very simple. It's not your fucking business. It's between me and my wife. And so, and this is the situation here because the world is being traumatized by this uh, ridiculous rules and regulations that is set up there. And basically everyone is human. We are all flawless, but we're putting effort into things that is completely, you know, un in rebellion to, for, to all of us. But what is really the big problem in it, to the world by killing, slaughtering, starving people to death and all these things, this is something that we don't even rise an eyebrow to. That's normal. That's okay. Okay? But uh, smaller things like that, type of things, uh, that is actually not our business, whatever problems they have in their, uh, you know, what's called bedroom and stuff like that. That's a major thing. So, you know, we have to wake up ourselves and reflect on, you know, what is really the problem. And also, uh, the difference between these crimes is that actually, if they have problems during the uh, marriage situation, it's not empowered by millions of people. You understand what I mean? That's a problem that most likely come within these two people. Okay? But in the case of these crimes against humanity, as we talked about before, this is something that is empowered, sanctioned, sponsored, and approved by millions and millions and millions of cool conspiracies and cool criminals. So if you want to start and say that, you know, all these guys are all criminals. No, your guys are cool conspiracies and criminals too. And when you wake up to that and realize that you're also going to be punished for your, cons uh, your silent consent and uh, approve. You blacked out again. Approve. Hello. 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 Yes, I was being caught. Yes, you were. Approve was your last word, and then you and it went out. Yeah, I said if you approve, you know, basically by being silently consenting, and uh, you know, basically uh, approving you know, approving their actions. So you are a co-conspiracy and co-criminal. So you know, we have uh, you know, we have basically a few group of main criminals, and then you have uh, you know millions of co-conspiracy criminals. Okay. And that is something that people have to waken up to. You are the people that also have responsibility uh, for empowering these criminals that commit these crimes against humanity. Because without you guys, and without your silent consent, or sometimes even uh, your uh, approval and you, even your assistance, they would not be able to do these crimes. Mm -hmm. So that's what basically needs to be awakened. It needs to be a global awakening to basically to stop accessing anything that is weird and that people think and start, this is the war on ignorance, to research, to understand, uh, you know, how the system works, how the things are doing, what are you doing, what is your work, how do you hurt other people, and then go together and basically stop assisting. Then basically we're going to have a jubilee, then yes, we're going to have a change, Yes, we're going to come into the new era of 555 when people basically themselves are responsible of their own lives and their own nations and the globe in, in general. Okay, and that's basically, you know, the big, biggest tool to find freedom is basically this. And uh, if you don't want to accept it and you want to live in the illusion of democracy and freedom, then, you know, it's up to you, you know. So this is, this is the time when we need to move into this new era of awareness and do what's right for humanity, okay?
So in other words, let me, let me just uh, wrap things up and, and sum things up. There's two main issues I, I think you brought forward to people that we need to understand. One is, of course, that by silently following orders and giving consent to the uh, ho horrible things that are being done by our leaders in our name, we are, in fact, empowering the crimes against humanity and empowering the very thing that we say we don't want. And number two, that just the interest on one of those accounts, one of those accounts that's being held, just the interest alone, if we were to put that money toward making a better world, there's plenty to go around and to fix all the problems we have. It's, it's one of, uh, of where our emphasis is and what responsibility we're able to take. Does that sum it up pretty well, what you tried to say in, these, in this video? Yes, exactly, exactly. And uh, so I'm very happy that you put it together in a very small, uh, you know, uh, small uh, way and direct way. And that's basically what the people need to put the effort in here. Uh, what I wanted to show in this last program was basically that this is not people are saying that we are waging a war on the Vatican. No, we are not waging a war against Vatican. God is waging a war against Vatican. Okay. And the thing is this way is that God is confirming our position. And basically the creator in itself is, is determined to set humanity free. But now the people also have to want to assist him by doing their own work too. Yes, because we are responsible too to also do what's right. Because it's not like people said that, you know, God made the ark and told, you know, Noah to put the people inside of it. No, the people built the ark. Yes, then on the instruction of God, and then the people came in, the righteous people. Now it's the same time. It's time for us to become righteous and to build this new ark for this planet and start the new era of 555 and set humanity free. And we are basically ourselves the tool, and that is going to be a lot of traumatized for the people who just want to escape and just want to be raptured and just want things to you know, happen or even the world to explode so they don't need to take responsibility for themselves or for anything else. That type of situation needs to stop and end. We have to do our work together. And, uh, you know, and I'm reaching out my hand to everyone to work in assistance. And this is not an attack against myself attacking anyone. This is basically the creator that is giving signs to the people to wake up and do what's right. Very good. Is there anything else you'd like to say in conclusion? I think that we've, we've gone over half an hour a little bit. Mm. Uh, and I don't like to make the videos too long, as you know. Mm. No, I think, I think that we have summed up these things. We are going to follow up with some more direct things with file sharing and stuff like that, with pictures of different things to go through, uh, a lot of things. Because I think it's time to wage the war on ignorance and to awaken people to the reality and uh, to our system to basically understand the system a little bit better. Uh, because there's so much misinformation and miscommunication. I'm uh, happy that uh, Benjamin Fulford, with his uh, professionalism and his uh, uh, contacts, also could be able to verify and uh, to support what we're stating. So now, you know, it would be easier for people to, uh, to you know, become more awakened to what is the message and basically to what's right. Well, of course, the MI5 were, were the confirming uh, agents, if you would, that the Queen actually did sign that document, that it was an official document. Uh, of course, some people still don't want to believe Benjamin Fulford or you or me, or some people just don't want to believe anything. <laughs> no, they have the right to do it because, you, yeah. know, uh, you, know, you know, I don't tell anyone that they have to believe in me. Uh, you know, what they need to learn to do is to believe in themselves. And, uh, you know, they need to reflect on themselves in the mirror first. And uh, I think that's where they have the biggest problem because they don't even believe in themselves, most of these people. Yeah. And that's why it's so important to have this war on ignorance. And, uh, uh, and basically, you know, like Aristo said also many times, is that people have to stop living in this, you know, escape mentality that they're living in. Okay. And uh, this is what people want to do. People want to find easy fix and escape. And this is what I'm stating. It's no easy fix. You are responsible to do the changes yourself. And if you don't think that you want to take the steps necessary to do any changes, then live with the consequences. 
with that, I want to wish everyone uh, a happy new year. And I, I will do my best during this year to do my best to assist setting this humanity free and uh, to, to help everyone and work together with anyone who basically is ready to do what is right for this planet and for the people and also for the other uh, what's called species that is on this planet are being traumatized by us. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ambassador, and to everyone, Happy New Year.